Hey folks, tune in. We're doing the episode number 12 or part 12 of the Billy Goat Barn Building series. Stay tuned. Hello folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. This is uh, part number 12 for building the Billy Goat Barn. And I think this is the finale because all I have left to do is put up the roof and put up the fence. Uh, so yeah, I got the roofing material today. I gotta unload it. So let's get that done and then we'll put the roof up.
Got it. Okay, I just score the metal with this box knife right along the seam here, or the edge, and it gives me a nice straight score. Now all I have to do is just bend the uh, metal up, and you hear it cracking, and it starts separating. So b bending metal like that, or cutting metal like that, especially long cuts, fairly easy, and you get a really nice straight cut. Uh, so cutting the metal like this was really easy and it came out nice and even and uh, hardly a burr on the side. So let's get this in place. We'll tack it down and we'll finish screwing the rest of the roofing down. Since I'm going to get up on the roof and walk on the roof, I don't want to damage the roof in any way. So I'm going to lay this 2x6 up there. So it'll give me a uh, path push to walk and get, my, uh, get the rest of the screws in place. Then if I have to move over, I'll just move that over a little bit. And go ahead and put this gable piece up there. That way I have it when I go to... There we go.
only have one more piece to attach and that's the upper drip edge on the end. Um, I'm gonna take my tin snips and we're gonna trim it and screw it into place. So I gotta get on the roof one more time. Okay, I'm gonna call this roof job a success because it's completed. The last piece is on the roof. I don't have to get back up on the roof. And with great success, I didn't fall down and break a body part. <laughs> yeah, that was very important. So, it's all nice. I mean, it's neat. It's tight. Uh, the roofing material cost under $250 and I was able to source that from YouTube revenue so it's really no money and no, no cost out of pocket except for my hobby uh, not even that because making films is my hobby and telling a story through video and inviting you guys in to watch my adventures that's my hobby and then that way we both learn things because I'm learning stuff from you guys as you do give me some uh, uh, constructive input to help me consider. And then I'm teaching some of you stuff like especially not how to do something because I try it, it fails, I tell you it fails, don't try it. So this is episode 12. I'm going to have to do an episode 13 because it's getting hot it's 93 degrees outside right now and it's really too hot to be on the roof and luckily i took a break before i got back on the roof and finished that last piece yeah that roof was a little bit hot so we're not going to do any more not today uh we're just going to take a break for the rest of the day and uh, i'll do the fencing uh on another video i may I i'm gonna have to lay this out in at least two more installments because there's finishing work I gotta do with the stalls here. I wanna include those, plus the feeder is not finished yet. I still have to do some attachments on the feeders to get it completed and then string the fencing. Uh, there's still some uh, details I need to work out on the fencing also. So we'll make that uh, episode 13 and 14 and hopefully that will be it. But let me give you a tour of at least what we've got done so far most important the goats have shade yay they have a nice little paddock area to just roam around and play even though as small as it is they can still get a little bit of exercise once they get the fencing done they'll have all this area to romp frolic and play we got the shelter, the barn in place, and a retrofitted storage shed uh, made into a nice little enclosure, especially during the windy, rainy, and cold months during the winter. And now I've got the outside covering over their uh, cement area, so they can play, have a place to be out during the winter months and not have to be in the mud. The gates are installed to keep them in place and I have the cement slab done and it's nice and roughened so they'll can they kick and grind down a little bit of their hooves as they spend a lot of time on that slab. Yeah, I like the white undercoating of the roof because it yeah, sheds more uh, reflective light in here 
and gives the goats some playroom. So tell me what you think on what I've got accomplished thus far in the comments down below. Uh, give me any suggestions that might be pertinent to the construction uh, of this uh, little uh, billy goat shelter. Yeah, they're, I think they're going to be happy because they're going to grow. They're going to become big stinky boys, but at least they'll be big happy stinky boys. Well, I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. This is episode number 12. I'm putting the roof on of the Billy Goat uh, Barn Project. Stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by, you got it, subscribing, then clicking that bell icon. That will alert you to new videos as I produce them. And also click that share button and share my videos on your social media platforms. That really helps out our channel greatly. Sharing our videos on your uh, platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, Blogger. Yeah, those ones. Also, please give me a thumbs up. I'm working really hard for you guys here, giving you some entertainment and anticipation of watching me have a great big accident. Nah, you guys aren't that kind of viewer. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next show. I'm going to go in and have a cool beverage and cool off. It is hot out here. Bye-bye now. Be safe.